back and in this video we're going to look at creating your domain name. Now I have to tell you I have for years and years and years used a site called 123-reg.co.uk. Complete habit, have always used them um, and uh, just you know have got all my accounts and everything all set up with them. But for the sake of this exercise, I thought to myself, let's go and use GoDaddy because so many people use GoDaddy.com. Um, so I thought, let's go and use GoDaddy.com and we're going to have to actually set up an account and everything because I've got nothing with GoDaddy. So the first thing we're going to do, so that's www.godaddy.com. OK, uh, not an affiliate link or anything like that, just a straightforward domain for, for GoDaddy. So the first thing I want to do is see if my domain name is available. Okay, so I'm going to type in here, in this box over here, create a website, oops, website on facebook.com. Okay, I want to see if that's available and I'm going to click go. And it's going to go and it's going to tell me whether that is available. And there it is, boom. Create a website on facebook.com is available at £7.24 a year. Oh gosh, I think that's cheaper than one, two, three, hyphen reg actually. Um, what it does as well, look, which I didn't know, is it has all these suggestions. Additional, make the website on Facebook, create the website on Facebook, create the site over Facebook, etc, etc. Okay, but for now, all I want is the dot com. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click add. Now, I don't have an account yet, so I'm presuming that GoDaddy is going to say you need to go and create an account. So, I've got one domain pending registration, okay, and I'm going to continue to registration because that's all I want. I want one domain. Now, let me tell you, this happens in all domain companies. They are going to tell you, do you want all this other stuff? and just click no <laughs> to it all. Um, don't even worry about it. I'm just going to click no thanks. I don't want anything. Okay, I don't want the .nets. I don't want the .infos. I don't want anything. Now, oh, here's where we're going to sort of create our registration. So over here, if you're already a GoDaddy customer, then you just put in your login name and password there, or we need to um, sorry, create your domain registration information. OK, so that looks fairly self-explanatory. Name, last name, email address, company name, address, city, United States, etc. OK, country rather zip. So I'm going to go through and do that and hit next. All right, so I'll see you at number two. All right, so I put in all my information on the registration bit and click next. So it tells me I've got a domain name. I am just going to secure it for a year. I just want registration length for a year there, but you can choose up to 10 years there. Um, there's all my contact details and aren't certified or uncertified. Certified apparently means um, some kind of website seal. It's, it validates that the domain name is authentically registered by you. It's only three pounds and a penny a year, so I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. Now, this is very important. This is very important. Hosting these domains elsewhere. Now, unless you decide that you're going to use GoDaddy as your hosting service as well, okay, and I can't comment on whether they're good or bad because I've never used them, but unless you are actually going to use GoDaddy as your hosting service as well as your domain registrar, then you are going to need to set your name servers. Now, we haven't set up your hosting company yet, so at this stage, you're not going to be able to do that unless you have already got your hosting company. If you already have your hosting company and you know what your name servers are, then here is when you can go and do that. OK, but we're going to have to come back to set our name servers after we've gone and got our hosting company on the next video. So don't worry about that too much at the moment. OK, and it includes free auto renew protection, blah, blah. So let's just click next. That sounds all good to me. All right, then it's going to ask if we want all these other things, uh, privacy with business, protected registration, etc. Um, we get standard registration included, so I'm just going to click next for that. I don't want any 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 of that stuff. OK, um, and then it tells you whether you want to add an email. OK, so at this point, if you want to, you can actually add an email. But let me just tell you, you can do this on your hosting company. All right, with your hosting package, you'll be able to add as many emails as you like. So I'm not going to worry at all about that. Um, here's where you can add website and hosting and all of that kind of stuff. OK, um, and then you can also get an SSL certificate. 
but again we can do all of this with our hosting company all right so I'm going to simply click next I don't want any of that I just want the domain name that's all I want at the moment so I'm going to click next and that hopefully is now going to take me over to the shopping cart where I can now pay for my domain and the domain name is then mine okay so let's see here we go create a website on Facebook domain one year it's a public registration type blah blah I don't want anything else I just want to continue to my checkout at seven pounds 35 pence okay and then hopefully I'm gonna be able to pay by PayPal um, gosh you really do have to fill out lots of stuff here don't you I've got login ID I've got currency preference I can do by pound or dollar, uh, it doesn't really matter. How did I hear about you? Gosh, I don't know. Social media, let's say. Okay, and then continue to check out. Oh, it needs a password and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we need to fill in number two, all the login information. Okay, all right, so I've come here. Okay, and basically I can pay by credit card, gift card, check or PayPal um, and I'm going to click PayPal and that's going to take me through to my PayPal account um, and boom, that is going to mean that I have got that domain name. Okay, so I'll just go and do that. Okay, not quite. I just had to add PayPal as a as a sort of a payment service that I want to pay with. Okay, so now over here, I'm going to click. I've read and agreed to the terms, and I want to place my order now. And I'm presuming you don't have to go through so much. Obviously, once you've actually signed up, it's because this is the first time we've signed up to Go Daddy. And boom, Joe, thank you for your order. I don't want to take your survey, but here we go. I have now got a domain name which is Create. Where is my domain name? Does it show? These are all the different things you can do. You can add SSL certificates and emails and all sorts of things. Okay. But basically, I have now got a domain name, which is create a website on Facebook. View and print receipt. Uh, all right. So that's it. We have purchased create a website on facebook.com. That is now our domain. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go across and we're going to look at hosting. Okay, we're going to go and look at hosting. Um, and then we are going to link your domain with your hosting company um, so that we can actually upload and install WordPress. So I will see you on the next video for hosting.